In the world of nuclear construction, a single day's delay can cost over a million dollars. The margin for error isn't just small, it's non-existent. For decades, building new nuclear plants has been a battle against physics, logistics, and spiraling costs. The challenge has been finding a single machine with the brute force to lift thousand-ton components and the delicate precision to place them perfectly. But what if that machine didn't exist? What if you had to invent it? One company did, creating a 5,000-ton Titan, nicknamed Big Carl, that moves with the precision of a watchmaker. It's a machine so powerful and intelligent, it's not just speeding up construction. It's rewriting the rulebook for building the most complex structures on Earth. This is Hard Hat Industries, where heavy machinery comes alive. At the heart of major global construction sites, from nuclear plants to refineries, stands a colossal machine that redefines the word colossal. It's the Sarens SGC-250, and it is one of the largest land-based cranes on the planet. Let's talk numbers, because they are almost hard to comprehend. The SGC-250 has a maximum lifting capacity of 5,000 metric tons. That's 5,511 U.S. tons. To put that in perspective, it could lift 2,400 Ford F-150 pickup trucks at once. Its boom can reach a height of over 820 feet, making it taller than the Space Needle in Seattle. But its most brilliant feature is its modularity. You might ask, how do you get a 5,000-ton crane to a job site? The answer is, you don't. You ship it in pieces. The entire SGC-250 can be broken down and transported in standard shipping containers, a logistical feat that makes it deployable to mega-projects anywhere in the world. It's less a single machine and more a pop-up leviathan, assembled on site to solve a very specific, very heavy problem. This design approach is a direct solution to one of the biggest logistical headaches in heavy construction. What do you think is the most impressive spec on this machine? The lift capacity or its ability to be shipped in containers? Let us know in the comments below. So, why build a machine on this colossal scale? The answer lies in the unique and unforgiving demands of modern nuclear construction. Building a nuclear power plant is less like a traditional construction project and more like assembling the world's most complex and expensive 3D puzzle. The traditional approach involves building structures piece by piece, an agonizingly slow and expensive process that exposes the project to weather delays and requires a congested site full of smaller cranes. This method is the primary reason why nuclear projects have historically been infamous for running years behind schedule and billions over budget. The industry was facing a crisis of confidence. Could a modern nuclear plant even be built on time and on budget in the Western world? This is the tension the SGC-250 was built to resolve. Its purpose is to enable a new method of construction, modular assembly. Instead of building everything on site, massive components like the steel liner for the reactor containment building or gigantic prefabricated roof sections can be built in controlled, factory-like conditions elsewhere on the site. At the Hinkley Point C nuclear project in the UK, this crane has performed lifts that were once thought impossible. It lifted the 750-ton polar crane and, most famously, the main dome of the first reactor building a single piece weighing 245 tons. By lifting these enormous pre-assembled modules into place, the SGC-250 turns months of complex, high-risk work into a single, controlled afternoon lift. It clears up the entire construction site, allowing other work to proceed unimpeded. This doesn't just shave days off the schedule, it fundamentally changes the construction philosophy moving from slow, sequential steps to rapid, parallel progress. A crane that can lift 5,000 tons is simply a heavyweight, but a crane that can place that weight onto a set of anchor bolts with millimeter accuracy is a technological marvel. 
The SJC250's immense strength is made usable by a suite of engineering solutions that give it a level of precision that seems impossible for its scale. This isn't just about power, it's about control. The foundation for this control is the crane's most visible feature, the massive ring track. On a conventional job site, if a heavy lift crawler crane needs to be repositioned, it's an operation that can take days, sometimes weeks. It has to be de-rigged, painstakingly moved, and recertified. Each relocation is a project in itself, introducing risk and immense downtime. The SGC250's ring completely eliminates this. The crane glides on bogies along nearly 0.4 miles of perfectly level track, allowing for smooth, continuous 360-degree rotation. The entire lifting arena is pre-engineered. This means a lift can be picked from one side of the ring and placed on the other in a single, uninterrupted maneuver, all commanded from one spot. This stability and fluidity is the bedrock upon which all of its precision is built. Powering this giant is a system built on absolute reliability. The crane is driven by multiple, independent power pack units. These are essentially self-contained, containerized engine rooms. The key here is true redundancy. This isn't a main engine with a small backup. These are parallel systems, and if one unit were to fail, the others are already running and seamlessly absorb the load without a single jolt or fluctuation in hydraulic pressure. For an operator holding a 200-ton nuclear component 200 feet in the air, that seamless takeover isn't a feature. It's everything. It's the difference between a minor engine issue and a potential catastrophe. That reliable hydraulic power is then translated into movement with surgical accuracy. The operator's controls are not direct mechanical levers. They are electronic signals sent to a network of advanced proportional valves. These valves don't just open or close. They meter the flow of hydraulic fluid with incredible finesse, allowing the ultra-fine hydraulic motors to turn the winches with microscopic movements. This is how you counteract the natural pendulum effect of a load on a long boom and execute a soft landing, placing a massive steel structure with the delicacy of a chess piece. This system also allows the two main hoist blocks to be operated and synchronized by the central computer, enabling complex tandem lifts of non-symmetrical modules while keeping them perfectly level. But the real genius of the SGC250 lies in its brain, its Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System, or SCADA. This is the crane's digital nervous system. It receives a constant stream of data from hundreds of sensors, strain gauges on the cables, anemometers measuring wind speed at different heights on the boom, and inclinometers monitoring ground stability. This system creates a live digital model of the crane and its load, constantly checking it against the manufacturer's load charts. It doesn't just warn the operator if they are approaching a limit, it can actively prevent them from making a move that would exceed the crane's safe operating envelope. It's a proactive, intelligent failsafe that acts as a digital co-pilot, ensuring that its immense power never oversteps the bounds of safety and precision. With systems this advanced, how much is the operator's skill versus the crane's automated technology responsible for a successful lift? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The impact of the SGC250 goes far beyond a single project. It represents a pivotal shift in how we approach mega construction. By proving the viability of the modular heavy lift strategy at Hinkley Point C, it has created a new blueprint for the future. This isn't just about nuclear energy. The same methodology can be applied to other massive industrial projects, from refineries and petrochemical plants to offshore platform fabrication. Anywhere that time, safety, and cost are critical drivers, the ability to do more work on the ground in a controlled environment and then lift it into place is a massive advantage. The SGC250 provides a powerful answer to the industry's tension between ambition and capability. For years, engineers could design incredible structures, but the tools to build them efficiently simply didn't exist. The result was compromise, delay, and budget overruns. Now, the script is flipped. The existence of a machine like Big Carl allows designers to think bigger and be more ambitious, confident that a tool exists to turn their vision into reality. 
It's a powerful symbol of hope and innovation. It proves that with the right engineering and audacity, the industry's biggest challenges can be overcome. It closes the loop that began with a crisis of nuclear construction. The problem was that projects were too slow, too expensive, and too complex. The solution wasn't a small incremental improvement. It was a 5,000-ton leap of faith in engineering. So, from its record-breaking power and ingenious modular design to its precision technology, the SGC-250 is more than just the world's largest crane. It's a catalyst. It's a machine that has confronted the immense challenges of nuclear construction and provided a real, tangible solution, proving that with enough horsepower and brain power, even the most complex jobs can be brought down to size. Thanks for watching Hard Hat Industries, your source for serious machines doing real work. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Until then, keep your head down and your gear running.